These are the top three mistakes I've made as a new CPA firm owner so far. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm not perfect and my firm isn't perfect either. So I'm going to go over the top three mistakes I've made as a new CPA firm owner. Even though this is a list, they are in no particular order and I see them all equally weighted. The first mistake is taking on projects that I should have said no to. When you own your own firm, saying no to money is nearly impossible until you realize saying yes is costing you money. Huh? There are projects that I have worked on where it may have put me outside of my comfort zone and I had a feeling something wasn't quite right, but I wanted to close the sale because I thought the money was good. There are instances where the engagement looked great at the start, but then I started discovering the project is way more intense than expected. And the worst part was I'd sent the proposal with pricing expectations and was too afraid to turn back. Now that I'd started the project and the fee that I quoted was already high, and I didn't want to increase it. Or sometimes the money was good, but it took so much time to complete the engagement, like weeks. Saying yes to those projects ended up costing me a lot of sanity, time, and money. I wasn't able to land better engagements or work on my firm because I got stuck in those projects. So while I was still making money, there was a huge opportunity cost to taking on the wrong project. And if you do enough of these wrong projects early in your firm ownership, it can really set you back. It would have been better to say yes to smaller projects that I could have completed in the same amount of time as some of those projects I should have said no to. The second top mistake I've made running my firm is not hiring fast enough. I was told early on that if you hire someone when you need to hire someone, it's too late. Or were they right? What that means, if you have a healthy growth trajectory and you know you'll need to hire someone at some point, you should probably hire them as soon as possible because when you get to the point of needing to hire someone, you're too busy to hire someone and train them. I just hired my first employee that wasn't my dad after almost three years of running my firm, but I really should have hired someone before my second busy season. The last two busy seasons were rough. I worked way too much. If I had hired sooner, I would have more time with my family and more time to make YouTube content. And I'd probably be a lot happier because I'm not stuck working in my firm so much. If I had hired someone sooner, I would also have the flexibility to find awesome clients and work on my firm. Now for the third mistake I've made as a new CPA firm owner, not raising my rates for existing clients fast enough. If you don't know the whole story, I launched my firm in 2020 after purchasing some clients I had worked with at a previous firm. My tax return pricing has gone from a minimum of 450 to $1,000 since then. It's hard to keep raising the prices for those clients that want to keep working with you. As my new client pricing was taking big steps, my OG client pricing was just taking baby steps. This isn't all about money. Oh, don't get me wrong, it plays a big part, but I have to think about my family here. I'm choosing to work at these lower rates instead of bumping them up to my current rates. So I'm choosing to make less money and spend more time away from family when I could potentially be making more money and spending more time with family. Here's what I've been doing to help solve this problem. Right now I have a list of about 20 clients where I'm about to raise their pricing to my current rates. Five of those clients will need to leave before I start to lose money. If five clients leave, I get more quality time with my family and make the same amount of money. It's pretty much magic. These three mistakes have helped shape me as a firm owner and now I'm better for it. I tend to learn the most through making mistakes and I make a lot of them, but I hope you can learn from me and not make these mistakes for yourself or be encouraged to not keep making these mistakes. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and watch all my other videos so I can get monetized by the end of 2023. Cheers. It's too hot for espresso.